What, what do you think uh, Turkey's role is in uh, geopolitics? Turks? Well, Turks... Uh, <laughs> I've been like four or five times in Turkey. Mm. They're like the typical Muslims, you know. And the problem with the Western countries is that we try to treat them as equal partners and the way that they understand our own understanding of the diplomacy. But they, of course, doesn't share like the same views, what we are doing. We have seen this all the time, like 2015-16 with the migration crisis, when they made a blackmailing and finally the EU paid 6 billion euros to Turkey because Turkey said that otherwise we'll open our border and all those millions of migrants will go to Greece. Two years ago they were blackmailing NATO because there was a question about the defense plan for the Baltic states and Poland by NATO. And Turkey said no, we'll not agree with this. And actually they didn't we really care about the plan. It was a question only to get something. They saw the chance. Okay, oh, you're going to agree on this? No, we don't share this view because, but we will actually we agree with this only if we get something. And the biggest problem is that we don't know exactly what to give to Turkey. Because the diplomats said, yeah, it was very complicated and it was very difficult negotiations, but yeah, we can't say what was the solution. Finally, the defense plan was agreed. It was agreed by everyone, but we don't know exactly what they gave to Turkey which kind of promises. And now today with the Finland and Sweden. So everybody's agreeing, okay, you want to join with uh, NATO? Yeah, your, your, def your defense capacity is very good. Every, it's, it's, Finland is stronger than most of the NATO countries, in fact. They're stronger. Sweden, with, uh, with a rainbow flag, not so well. But uh, <laughs> at least, but they're trying to do better, finally. But <laughs> But anyway, they are ready to join with NATO. And Turkey said, now nah, actually we have some problems, you know that. You have supported in history some kind of opposition party of Turkey. We don't agree with you, but we know exactly from the beginning. You just want to get something. Now you want to get something again. So the problem with Turkey finally is that they are always trying to play the game between the East and West. To be like in the middle and to get maximum from both sides. To be on the same time a part of NATO to benefit from that, at the same time to say sometimes to the, to the allies that no, actually we're going to buy like some troops uh, or, or, or some military aid uh, from, from Russia or from China. So that's why I wouldn't trust them very much, not so much, but at the same time we have to understand how they are playing and we shouldn't be like so with the blue eyes to believe them, whatever they're saying. Because we have to understand always they try to cheat you. They try to play with you. So, and if we understand this game, what they're doing, it's easier for us to play with them. Okay, you want to play a game? Let's play a game. Because you don't want to be part of Russia or China. You don't want to be like on the same group with them. You always want to be part of, you know, like for other countries. So if you want to be, okay, let's play a game. Yeah. You do something against for those countries and we'll benefit you. So I think it's like, it's the typical casino game. Just, just to play them over.